It's just a game. True. And the Grand Canyon's just a hole in Arizona. There's a ground ball right side. Could do it. The Houston Astros are world champions for the first time in franchise history. about the world not today it's springtime and they're knocking baseballs around fields and kids are trying to hit curveballs <laughs> that window and wait for spring.
Diamond Dynasty is the most thrilling way to build a baseball team. It's the perfect blending of card collecting and competition. Here, legends come out of the cornfields and play alongside the stars of today. Assemble your best team and lay claim to the land as you forge ahead in conquest to be the best. Or take on anyone in head-to-head -head play and win your way to the top of the leaderboards. Do you have what it takes to draft the right talent and battle your way to 12-0 in three-inning games? Or will you be knocked out after just two games? Can you collect the best of the best and eventually lay claim to the greatest of all time? Can you handle the electric stuff of a Gibson, a Goose, or a Flashback Verlander? Do you think you can shut down the machine, the kid, or the Sultan of Swat? Yeah, there are some people who say that baseball is just a game, but clearly they have never played Diamond Dynasty. The first call of baseball is heard from playgrounds and backyards. Come play, it says. Learn how to catch, how to throw, how to hit. Next thing we know, we're squeezing the last bit of daylight out of the day for just one more swing or pitch or fly ball. This call rings on through Sandlot games, youth leagues, and into high school. And during this time, a dream is born of one day making it to the big leagues. Every year, a new crop of hopefuls eagerly awaits to hear if their name will be called on draft day. For a select group of blue chippers, expectations will be high. For the rest, there can be no expectations, only hopes. These are the dark horses, garnering little fanfare they'll need to find a way to demonstrate that they belong amongst the best of the best. History shows that a handful can defy the odds and succeed at the game's highest level. What does it take for one of the many to rise out of the pack and make it to the show? It takes finding an identity as a player. It takes learning from one's successes and failures on the field. It takes the desire to raise the bar of our potential. It takes a lot of things. That's why only the most dedicated and driven will get there. And even fewer will see their star rise to the full realization of that whispering call to play from so long ago. The baseball franchise is a complex and delicate apparatus. Every little cog or gear or pinion matters, is vital. Whether you're the guy signing the checks, filling out the lineup card, or combing the baseball frontier for talent, the club is counting on you. Expectations are high, and flexibility is a must, because things don't always go as planned. Tough decisions need to be made, and made right. It's no shame to delegate when necessary. Everybody could use a hand now and then. But in the end, it's the guy at the top that gets the credit. Or the blame. So when that time comes, when the dust settles and there's only one team left standing, here's hoping it's yours.
daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the American League's Houston Astros and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Looking forward to this matchup, and it's next on MLB Network. Clayton Kershaw, a Texas-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, Clayton Kershaw, he just breathes different air than everybody else. The best pitcher in the game of baseball. Good fastball, good changeup, good cutter, and a terrific curveball. When you think about the Cy Young Award, he's always in the mix. He's good, he's strong, he's left-handed, and he's quite simply one of the greatest pitchers of all time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. The wind up and the 0 1. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0 2 now. Now here's the pitch. Fouled off. Fouled away. Here's Kershaw with another 0 2. High in the air down the right field line. On the move is Puig. And he makes the catch in the corner. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. This guy hit over 340 last year. An incredible season. I watched him one day take a ball to left field, then he took one to right field, then he took one back up the middle. He puts together so many hits and has such a great swing that there's no wonder he hits over 340. 
Striding in for Houston, Alex Bregman. First pitch on its way. This is line to left. And that'll get by. And on through towards the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he will make it up to third base as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple. But he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. So a runner at third here with one gun. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. That pitch up in the zone called the strike. And that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Following balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corners. He is, d -Row. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's behind the dish. He got him. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. First pitch of the at-bat. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. Squared that one up just a little late. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there. But if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down. Maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on MLB Network. Justin Verlander, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, thanks, man. Justin Verlander, former Cy Young Award winner. He's done just about everything you could do as a starting pitcher. At one time, might have had the best and biggest arm in the game of baseball. Consistently 94 to 97 miles an hour. Really good overhand curveball. Has the slider, has the changeup. Usually you'll know if Justin Verlander is on early. If he gets through the first couple innings, one, two, three, he's going to be tough to beat. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. 1-0 and oh, the count.
the 1 0. He has taken strike one. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in Having prime turned. position to put the first Third run on the board right here. Justin Turner. Stepping in now, Justin Turner, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Oh, and Verlander loses the handle here. This one's straight to the backstop. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. One and one, here it comes. And the changeup is way low that time. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Turner in front at three balls and a strike. Taylor on second. Seeger at first with no out. Hey. A high fastball is in there. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you. I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks his own again. Smoked on the ground up the middle. To second for one. On to first. The double play. Time now to check out how the hometown Dodgers line up Danny in this Moore. one. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, I know these guys oh, love what Justin Turner oh, brings God. to their offense. He hit over 320 last year, and that will get any pitcher's attention. They knew it when he was coming up, and they knew it when he was on the on-deck circle. Really impressive hitter. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. Lays off 1 0. Here's a moment where you got to be a great teammate. Pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like single, gapper, homer, just get that guy in from third and get your team back motivated again. Slider stayed too low, ball two. Verlander. Originally from the state of Virginia, he was a first-round pick back in the 2004 first-year player draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the play. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for L.A., and this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. First pitch on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. The ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a fastball up around the shoulders, but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Los Angeles Dodgers. The guy I want to spot shadow today is Cody Bellinger. Versatility is his game. The bat plays no matter where he hits in a lineup, but a guy who can play gold glove first base and move to the outfield. 
digging in the switch hitter, Marwin Gonzalez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. There's a strike. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. But there's your textbook waste pitch right there. Try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. Three. And he got him. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. Evan Gaddis now standing in. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw. Two hits in seven tries. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. No score here as we play inning number two. A ball and two strikes. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. A two That's and a two ball. count to the Astros catcher. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That will look like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Through an inning and a half. No score on MLB Network. In now is Yasiel Puig, the as they'll have five, six, and seven Mike here Taylor. to start the home half Yasiel of the second. Puig. First delivery to him on the way. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. The wind up and the 0-1. And that one just missed outside. The 1-1. One, one. He's in there for the second strike. The one two. And it's fouled away. Hey, great job just to be able to foul that one off. In today's game, that's what we're seeing. North south. Pitchers want to elevate, want to get you out above the zone or below it. The bouncer to the left side. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to first in time, one away. Time for a look at the Houston Astros on D. And I want to focus on Jose Altuve. Pound for pound. The best player in big league baseball. A gold glove second baseman. He can do it all. Five tools. The ability to turn a double play with the best of them. Next for the Dodgers. Jock Peterson. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch on its way from Verlander. A ball and no strikes. Bottom of the second here with no score. Two balls and no strikes to count to the Dodgers center fielder. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Now the 2-1 pitch. Taken on the outside corner for strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. In there, no balls and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out.
Missed with a slider. Grandal playing here in his age 29 season. He was selected in the first round back in the 2010 first year player draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw in time and the side is retired. Nothing doing against Verlander that time around. It remains nothing. Not far from us here at Dodger Stadium, the beautiful beaches of Southern California. Thanks again for joining us on MLB Network. Leaving Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He'll Ryan be the Fielder. one to start things here Josh against Clayton Kershaw. Leonard. That's lifted the other way out to left. Turner is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And, and he fouls this one off. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Forsythe has a play. Two down. Center fielder. Digging four. in to try it again. Going. George Springer. Go for one here in the early going. Nope. And a bit too high with that one. It's one and oh. Hey, two outs, nobody on, and a power hitter up. This is where, as a pitcher, you got to use the hitter's aggression against them. Get him to fish a little bit. Something a little more out of the zone than normal. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. The 1 2. This is in the air to center. Does he have another 1 2 3 for the ledger? He does. Eight in a row he set down, and the side is retired. 1 2 3 go the Astros. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Next up for Los Angeles, Logan Forsythe. As we move on to the bottom of inning number Second three. Logan Forsythe. Yeah. And there's a fastball from Verlander to jump ahead, 0 and 1. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight or nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. Into the box, Clayton Kershaw. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Forsythe gets his lead at first, nobody out. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. And he misses two and one. Breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Oh, right back to him on the mound. The second for one, on to first. So they let him swing with two strikes, and it'll cost him as it's a double play. Ready for another chance. Chris Taylor, a base hit in his first trip. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. 
And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. Owen won the count. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Nope. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. The 1 1 home. Fouled off. Hard ground ball to third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball just a bit up. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. And that one stayed up a little high. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Two Dang. balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. And Dang. ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. Here now the two two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed strike three. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. Okay. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base pad. Here's Carlos Correa now. Two away in the inning. And Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Ball two. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. The 2-2 one more time. It is looked at and the count moves full. Yuli Gurriel would be next if they can keep this inning alive. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Fouled away. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this A-B right here. He's really making this pitcher grind for everything. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Another full count pitch home. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. And that one's taken outside for a ball. We walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. High set by Kershaw. Now the pitch. And this is high. A ball and a strike. Lifted down the line in left. But this will land foul. Just shy of the wall. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game. And that ends the inning. Leave one. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Leading off the fourth for the Dodgers. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Corey Seager. In there, strike one. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well, and one of the reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. Count now a ball and a strike. A 1-1. He's in there for strike number two. One ball, two strikes. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing the strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Little chopper back to the mound. 
And there's one down now. Now battle. Coming to the plate now, Turner. Justin Turner. He's Justin. 0 for 1 thus far. Turner. First delivery to him on the way. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. So gets him. So they are able to get an out on an unusual play. And hopefully the pitcher's okay. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ball one to start the at bat. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. No runs, three hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. 3 and 0 now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Drilled right back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. So with two out here, Yasiel Puig gets a chance to bat this inning. Dan, I know you fight as an offensive player to get in a 3-1 count. What's the tension level on the mound throwing this guy a 3-1 heater? That's one of the things you don't want to do. You have a game plan when you go into this, and your, the game plan normally is get ahead with strike one and make hitters expand the zone. 3-1, and one, not a good time to throw a fastball. In now is Yasiel Puig as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Bellinger, the runner at first with two gone. And he takes strike two. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. From the stretch. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. Here's Jock Peterson now as he rips it on the ground to second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. No, oh, he's in there. The captain, number nine, Yasmani Grandal. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. Verlander pauses 1 1 on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Dodgers leave him. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Over one after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Back to work now is Kershaw as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. Nothing in one. Popped him up. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Digging in for his second at bat, Evan Gaddis. Here's the pitch. Evan Gaddis. That's a fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Gaddis, a native Texan. He was selected in the 23rd round back in the 2010 first year player draft. 
I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being yeah. drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Count is one and two now. Now the one-two pitch from Kershaw. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Two up, two down on strikes in this oh, inning. Buddy. He looks really right sharp out there, guys. Josh Reddick. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. First offering on its way. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Popped high in the air. Kershaw waits on it. And the inning is over. Go down one, two, three. Halfway home, still no score. Leading off for the Dodgers. Second baseman. First delivery to him on the way. A high fastball is in there. Looks at a curveball on the outside corner. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96, you have to be on the fastball or you're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball is going to blow right by you. Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. The pitcher, number Stepping in and ready for another shot, Clinton Kershaw. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Sinking liner toward left. And Kershaw has a base hit. So the lineup car turns over with one away following the base hit out of the pitcher's spot. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. Chris Taylor stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. The one one. A swing here on the fastball and this will get fouled off to the right side. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. He will go to shortstop covering, and they do get the force at second. That was not an easy play. That's a really tough double play to turn when the first baseman has to field it coming off the bag and then make a throw to second while the runner is going down the line. Couldn't complete the double play, but at least they got one out. Here's Corey Seager as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's one for two in this one. Back up the middle. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows right. of the baseball season. Right. Hey, Bottom hey. line is this guy has That's bat to ball right. skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Standing in now, Justin Turner as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Verlander pauses. Here he comes 0 and 1. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. And he popped him up. Reddick coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Boy, it's been tough to score in this one so far through the fifth inning, but that RBI base hit right there is a nice breakthrough. Oh, yeah, it's been a great pitcher's duel up until this point. They've been executing on the bump without question, but that RBI knock right there might set the tone for the later innings. In now, Cody Bellinger, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. 
And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count. Runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. And he watches this one in there for a high strike. Verlander starting to run up his pitch count. He's at 75 thus far. Now the 2-1 is taken for strike two. Seager at second. Turner at first. Two out in the inning. Hard hit ball to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Boy, you know, d every pitcher loves that. Shortstop does a great job just to knock that ball down to keep it from the outfield to keep that runner from advancing all the way to home. Yeah, and, and as a former middle infielder, Dan, we, we love this stuff. This is what gets you jacked up, trying to save runs for your pitcher, give you another chance to execute and get us out of this inning. First pitch on its way. Takes this the other way to right. Reddick is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. So one run on four hits here. No errors, and they leave the bases loaded. Five innings complete. It's the Dodgers one, and the Astros nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Justin Verlander will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Count remains at 0 and 2. The next 0 2 is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. One and two. Popped him up. Grandal over to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Center fielder. Number Here's George four. Springer. He's George 0 for 2 in the ball game Springer. so far. First pitch of the at bat. And a fastball just a bit up. The 1 0. It's a fastball looked at for a strike. That's a real good job of going back to back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. That's 10 strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's and a high. fastball just a bit high. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and that one stayed up a little high. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends. Digging in to try it again. Jock Leading Peterson. He singled in two trips Jock to the plate Taylor. thus far. Jock Peterson. Breaking ball taken right down the middle. Count is even at one and one to Peterson. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch stand either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. 
Hey, Dan, obviously good game plan by the offensive team. A bunch of knocks, but they can't seem to get any runs going. Boy, as a, as a pitcher, Dero, you're always trying to minimize the damage. Lots of traffic, but so far, very little to show for. You wonder how much longer he can keep this up. Into the box now, Yosmani Grandal, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now batting. Riding in once Second again, base. Logan Forsythe. Logan. One for two. Forsyth. He singled and struck out in two trips. First pitch of the at bat on oh. its way. Missed with a slider. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. One and no pitch on the way. Now a ground ball for Altuve. This might be two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He'll start the seventh. And Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Now batting. Ready once again, Carlos Correa. Carlos it was a walk Correa. in his last trip. In there, and it's 0-1. To me, one. getting ahead 0-1, it, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. Forsythe into shallow center. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second no, out. No. Boy, he the showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Now this pitch is popped up. Playable for Grandal behind the plate. Digging in once again. Clayton Kershaw. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. Kershaw. That's a ball. Missed with a breaking ball. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. The 1-0 home. is laid off, but in there for strike one. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Dodgers pitcher trying to deal with a one and two count at the plate. The one two. And this is lined softly here to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Now another one two. Here's a pop up now. And this is taken in for out number one. Center fielder, number three. Now Chris back to the top Taylor. of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Chris Taylor. He's working on a one for three thus far. And that misses ball one. Verlander still with one earned run on his line through six and a third. Yeah. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And he takes a cold strike two. And he chased it in the dirt. 
And he makes the throw to first. Taylor is retired. Two down now. Well, batter number five. Here's Corey Stop. Seager. So far, Corey two for Seager. three in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And takes a fastball on the inside corner. Verlander gets the sign. Here's the 0-1. Lying toward the gap in left center. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. And the two-out base hit will bring in Justin Turner to bat next. How about it? Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, he'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Stepping in now, Justin Turner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Here comes the Astros skipper up out of the Houston dugout. And it would appear that that's going to be the end of the afternoon for Justin Verlander. Will Harris trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. A ball and no strikes. He's two for three and looking for more here. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Not the ideal spot to be right here. 2-0 and count on a real good hitter. Boy, you're going to have to make some really good pitches now. Too high. And it's 3-0. and Yasiel Puig would be next. Seager over at second. Turner on at first with two down. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. This is where if you're the batter, one pitch, one spot, and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind. Full count to Bellinger. Three balls, two strikes. Three-two pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. Moving under it, Gonzalez. And that retires the side. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. No hits to this point. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. There's a strike. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. Popped him up. And there's your first down of the inning. Very uh -huh. tight ball game so far. one nothing to score as we take a look at our starter comparison. And both guys have given excellent performances to this point. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. One two pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. One gone here in the eighth as we check our line score to this point. And, boy, you can see the story of the game right there in the hit column. Just one hit allowed through seven and a third. He has been awfully tough to solve. Strike one to start the at-bat. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? He sure does. It's a Baker's dozen. 13 in a row he's set down. Next for the Dodgers, Yasiel Puig. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. 
the left fielder, ready for another one. shot now. Jock, Jock Peterson. It Peterson. was a single for him in his last at bat. First offering on its way. There's a breaking ball over the outer half. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Hey. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was pretty much center cut and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. The bouncer to the left side. Bregman fields it cleanly. Throw on the first or get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two Yasmani away now. Money Grandal. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. No balls in one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pops this one up. And this will land foul. Bounce to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Tyler White will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 13, Tyler White. Ninth Aye. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. The windup and the 0-1. Fouled off. Kershaw's 0-2 offering. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the Number inning. Number four, George Springer. Here's George Springer. Third baseman hugging the line here, now the first pitch. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. The pit. Fouled away. Ground ball foul down the left side. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Here's Kershaw with another 0-2. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. One ball and two strikes to count. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And that's high for a ball. It's 2-2. Two and two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Oh, man. So close, but yet so far. Can you imagine giving up one hit, pitching such good baseball for nine innings, but one base hit kept him from baseball history? A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Los Angeles Dodgers used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Clayton Kershaw gets the W on the mound. Justin Verlander is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleziak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time.